Okay, this video is for Aries, and today we're asking, how does the person Aries is dealing with feel about them? So, this is going to reveal um, what your person's hiding from you, how they really feel, um, maybe what they're doing. Let's see, I'm just going to kind of let the cards and spirit take over and see what messages come through for you, Aries. And if you come across this video, um, please like and subscribe. And if it resonates, please comment. Because I'm a firm believer that when you come across the video, it ha there's messages in there for you. So there's something that you need to hear. That's why you clicked on this video. Okay, Aries, let's see. What is it they want you to know? Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Aquarius card, star card. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but this just speaks to that the person that you're dealing with, they see you as very healing. They also feel like you are their destiny, that you guys were meant to meet in this life. Um, the person you're dealing with right now could be very guarded right now. This is my Rocky card. This person has been through hell and back. Like every one of those wands represents some type of a fight they've had to go through in life. So your person could be like really guarded right now. Um, yeah, this person walked away from you. So right now they're just being very guarded because they walked away or you could have walked away from them. They could live at a distance from you. Um, but if not, this person's waiting on you. So even though like this could have been you that walked away, so they're kind of guarded but they're waiting for you to return because this man, this is like sitting on the dock with a bay card to me. This person sits at the dock and waits for the ships to come in. So this person is waiting on you. Like I said, they could live at a distance, even if it's just 20 minutes away. This person, there's some type of a distance there. And it could just be distance in the relationship. You guys aren't as close as you used to be because you left. Yeah, there was a tower moment between the two of you that caused this breakup. Um, but what this person's not telling you is even though you're not together, they are waiting on you. Like they somehow instinctively know that you guys are going to come back together. Yeah. And there was some, this is a Capricorn card, but this person's like highly obsessed with you, Aries. Um, there could have been some codependency, toxicity in this relationship. You know, this person may drink alcohol, do drugs, um, they could be very lustful, but I see that this person is obsessed with you. So it makes sense that they're waiting on you because in their mind, they're like, well, I don't even care that we broke up because I am going to chase this person. Like they, they feel tied to you. Okay. So even though you're not in contact right now, they are still highly, highly obsessed with you. I've been getting this a lot um, in my personal Aries readings too. So it kind of seems like a theme right now that you have, it's just like these Aries, you guys attract people who become obsessed, <laughs> but this person's highly obsessed with you. Yeah. And then there you are. <laughs> this is my queen of wands. This is my Aries card, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius card, but this is a female fire sign. So whoever this person is, they're highly passionate about you, Aries. They see you as sexy, beautiful, um, confident. They know that you can get like any man or woman that you want. Um, but also you make them very happy because when we see the sunflower that represents happiness. So this person's like very sexually attracted to you and you make them very happy also. But this person is definitely obsessed. And when I mean obsessed, I mean obsessed. <laughs> yeah. There could have been you or this person were juggling. Um, so there could have been more than one party involved. And maybe that's why you walked away. You were like, you know what? If you want to juggle, you want to do these things, then I'm going to walk the heck away. And I think that's what's making this person obsess over you because now it's become an obsession of them because you walked away. So now you're like all they think about. Yeah. And there was heartbreak. So this person um, is definitely in heartbreak right now. Um, you could also be in heartbreak because you guys separated. 
Um, but if they're acting like they're not heartbroken, that's just that they're not. It's a lie. They are heartbroken. So if they're not revealing that to you, they are very upset. Yeah, and they feel like um, you're rejecting them right now. So maybe this person's reached out to you and you're just like, nope, I'm done. You see how this man has his arms crossed over his heart. He's just like, no, I don't want to deal with you. You cheated or whatever it is that you did. I don't want to have anything to do with you. So that's causing this person to become very heartbroken, obsessed. Yeah, this person wants a whole give and take between the two of you. Um, they want to return. They want you guys to come back together. And if in the past they weren't showing you like as much love and attention as they should have, their whole plot and plan is they're going to return to you and offer you equal give and take. Yeah, and then we have the actual um, reunion card. So that's what this person's secretly planning. They're not telling you this, but their whole entire plot and plan is they're going to return and they're going to offer you this equal give and take. They're going to say, hey, baby, like, or babe, or whatever, however they talk. And they're going to say, hey, you know, I know I screwed up, but when I come back, you know, let's work this out and I'm going to pay you all the attention and time and energy that you deserve. That's what they're going to tell you. They're also going to tell you that you are their wish fulfillment, that you make them very happy. Um, so they're, they're going to return. That's their whole plot. Um, and it's funny that we have three, six, nine. It just reminds me of like the keys to the universe there. <laughs> but um, definitely a synchronicity with the three, six, nine. Um, this person could be um, one of your divine soulmates when I see these types of numbers. Because I do numerology too, not just astrology. So when I see 369, it lets me know that this relationship, even though it looks like it could have some toxicity involved, codependency, or somebody cheated or something, you guys were, were brought together by the divine. You were brought together by the universe um, to learn these lessons from each other. Yeah, and then we have the death card. So there definitely was an ending. This could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, but this person wants a resurrection. They want a death and a rebirth. So even though it's ended and one of you guys walked away from each other, they do want to return and rebuild this. You could be dealing with a Virgo, um, but this person, whoever they are, they've been doing a lot of soul searching. So if they have hurt you and they wronged you, they are highly aware of what they've done. They have a lot of regrets. And this person's really going within and thinking of everything that happened in your relationship and thinking to themselves like, wow, I should not have done this to my Aries. So they're highly aware of what they've done, okay? Um, so their plan is to return. Yeah, and then we have the Aries card. So here you are. So this also speaks, this also lets me know that this is you and your. this is what you're doing also. Um, you in your mind are also soul searching and thinking of this relationship and trying to decide if you should even go back to this person. Um, but it's also like, I feel like you know in your heart, even though it's ended, that you guys are going to return together. And I feel like it's that you even know, because this is at the bottom of the deck. This is my destiny card. Um, I feel like you kind of know that this person was your destiny and that's why you kind of never could really let go of them because we see that hermit card next to the Aries card and you see the star in this man's in the hermit's lantern. It's like, you know, you see how the heart, the, the emperor is even kind of looking over at the hermit. It's like, you're very aware. I feel like Aries, you're very aware of who this person is to you and it's kind of like, you know, in your heart that even though this person might not be as awakened as you are, you still know that they were put on your path for a reason. You're highly aware of that. I can just, I feel your energy and I feel like you are going to, you're going to accept this person when they return, put it that way, because you feel in your heart there was some higher power that brought the two of you together. And you would be correct. When I seen the 369, I knew instantly this was brought together by source. 
And with the star card, this is destiny. You guys were destined to be together, maybe not even long term, but for a time period because you have things that Source wants you guys to go through together. So this person is going to return. Um, they're going to tell you that they want to work on the situation with you. And also besides relationship areas, your finances are going to be really good. This is Spirit saying, whatever projects you've been working on, continue to work on them because you're going to be highly successful in those. Yeah, look, we have the eight, the nine. I want to see what's next. Holy crap. <laughs> Aries. Oh my goodness. Okay. Your finances are fixing to be through the roof. Um, I knew, because this right before I pulled this Eight of Pentacles, I heard Spirit say, tell them to keep working on their project. There's something that you're working on. I don't know if it's at your work. I don't know if you've started a new project, but they are bringing attention to it because they're telling you to keep focused on that. Like, regardless what's happened in your relationships, um, let's put relationship to the side for a minute and talk money. They want you to stay focused on your coins and on your business and what you're trying to create financially because they're letting me know that if you keep working hard on it, you see how this man's very focused on this coin and working towards these coins. He then transitions to the Nine of Pentacles and then to the Queen of Pentacles. You can't make this up. You see me shuffle these cards and I shuffle them a ton of times before the camera even hits, okay? You are fixing to be financially stable for the rest of your life if you keep focusing on this job or this project. I don't know if you're trying to start a new business. Whatever it is, they're telling you to stick with it because you're going to be very highly abundant. I'm talking about long-term stable financial um, a situation here. Now, let me tell you something. A lot of people don't realize this about the Nine of Pentacles. This woman is highly rich. She has nice clothes, nice food. She's surrounded by abundance. But this bird is also a messenger. This lady, this woman or man, whoever you are watching, like I said, if you come across my videos, I don't have many subscribers, so please subscribe. But besides that, you are meant to see this video, okay? Because I don't have a lot of subscribers, so if it comes across your feed, it was source. There's somebody watching. You've been thinking about starting some type of a spiritual business. This is your sign that now is the time to do it. You're going to be highly successful and very abundant. I'm talking about so much money you can't even keep up with it. So if you've been thinking about something, this is your sign because this bird is a messenger from spirit realm. There's somebody watching and you have the ability to connect to the other side. Your spirit guides led you to this video to confirm to you to start your business, okay? And then we also, with the Queen of Pentacles, um, a lot of people don't know that there's this rabbit here. This rabbit means multiply. This rabbit also comes to people when they're about to start a project spiritually or any type of a work endeavor to tell you that your finances are going to multiply, okay? So relationship aside, they're also telling you your money is going to be highly, highly abundant, okay? So don't worry about finances. But you do need to keep your head in the project. Don't get sidetracked by this um, relationship. And I feel like Source could have let this relationship in for a time. So you can focus on your money and focus on your business, okay? So anyway, this person, this is you right here. This isn't this person. These three cards are you, okay? Your person, and this is your person though, they are very regretful of what they've done to you, Aries. This person's crying over these cups um, because they know they did you wrong. They know who you are to them and they highly regret it, okay? And this also, this also speaks to this, you know, if this was you, it also speaks to source telling you not to focus on the past because they have a two of cups behind you. So you have a lot of great things in your future. But this person's also stalking you, Aries. So not only are they obsessed with you with the devil card, they're also stalking you. Okay. Anytime I get the page of swords and the devil card, that lets me know that this person is so obsessed with you to the point 
that they would drive by your house. They would drive by your work. They would ask friends and family about what you're doing. Um, and if you have social media, they're on it. And if they're not on it, they're trying to get on it. So just be highly aware of your surroundings. This person is watching you. Yeah. And then we have the Sagittarius card. Um, so this is just source coming through telling me that they are about to um, even out your life. Like things are just going to start flowing. You see how this angel's taking the water and putting it in one cup to another? She's doing alchemy. So what this angel is doing in your life is restoring you and healing you and giving you back your balance. Because I feel like we also have the tower in this reading. So it lets me know that this ending and this person brought so much chaos to your life that it threw you off balance. And it just kind of created in your mind this like feeling of unrest and anxiety. And you just, you, you just felt like you didn't feel like yourself. Okay. So what source is doing is they're bringing you back. They're grounding you and they're healing you. They're doing alchemy on you. They're taking your hurt and your pain and they're going to heal you. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Aries. Um, don't go anywhere. I'm going to roll you guys some dice. Let's see. And if you'd like a personal reading, I do those for $17. Um, I do a 25 to 30 minute video. Um, I will leave in the description how you can email me. But it's only $17. And if there's anything you want to know about your person, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what actions are they going to take, when they may return... Um, if you want to know about your career, I'm highly skilled at predicting things and getting in. I can tap into your person's energy and tell you what they're even doing. Okay. I'm not here to brag about it, but I, I'm really, really good at doing that. Okay. Um, I need to make a video of all the reviews I've had. I'm telling you, I, I've, I've predicted things that people were just shocked. <laughs> so if that's something you're interested in, I'll leave it in the description. I take PayPal and Cash App, and it's only $17 right now. Okay, you could be dealing with a Pisces, a Sagittarius, a Cancerian, or a Gemini. Those might mean something to you, or these could be the signs that are going to come into your life. This could be friends, family, this could be anybody. But I do see Piscean, Sagittarius, Cancer, and Gemini. And then here's an angel number. We have 10, 9, 7. Okay, in numerology, there's no such thing as a 10. So this is a 1. So we have 197. So Google angel number 197 and you'll have a message there also. Have a good one and thank you. And please subscribe and like and comment. Um, I'm trying to grow my channel. But I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. And I promise you, you won't be disappointed um, as time goes on and you start seeing more of my videos. You'll start to understand why I even created this channel. It's because Source told me to. So have a good one and thank you so much.